Never dismiss the power of money to persuade. A study initiated before the rollout of COVID-19 vaccines has found that a $1,000 incentive for the vaccine hesitant could boost vaccine rates up to 87%. At the time, that number was considered sufficient to confer herd immunity. With COVID-19 variants now proliferating globally, notions of herd immunity have changed. But the authors say their findings are still valuable, given that much of the developing world has yet to become fully vaccinated, and as public health officials continue to encourage vaccination as a powerful tool against serious health effects. It's even a bigger question than vaccines and COVID. This is part of a larger set of dilemmas called collective action problems, such as how do we convince people to take action to mitigate climate change, says Vivek Nander, a doctoral student in behavioral economics at the University of Toronto's Rotman School of Management and one of three stud. This speaks to that and how monetary incentives can be used to influence larger behavior change. Some two, 500 study participants, recruited online in December 2020, were asked if they planned to get the vaccine or, if they would accept it under one of three conditions, if it were free, if it was. Some 70% of participants in the no conditions group said they would get vaccinated. All participants who answered no, were then asked how much money would incentivize them to accept the vaccine. A $500 cash incentive brought the percentage of vaccine willing up to 80%. But the $1,000 cash incentive, the maximum, raised that figure to nearly 87%. Between 13 and 15% of participants were unwilling to accept the vaccine under any circumstances. Even cash incentives are not a panacea, and can potentially backfire, given other conditions. As one example, offering the vaccine for free in our experiment seems to make people a bit warier, which is confusing and likely needs more examination, Nander said. Money aside, people were more willing to take the vaccine if it was shown as effective against COVID-19, or had no side effects. Hesitancy was stronger among younger people than older ones, and among political conservatives. The study was published in Humanities and Social Sciences Communications. The researchers have since looked at the effects of a 2021 policy by the government of West Virginia to offer $100 savings bonds to people aged 16 to 35 who get vaccinated. The policy was introduced to boost the state's lagging vaccination rate from 52 to beyond 70 percent. Ganesh Iyer, Vivek Nander, David Soberman. Vaccine Hesitancy and Monetary Incentives. Humanities and Social Sciences Communications, 2022, 9, 1, doi, 10. 1057 per second 41599, 022, 01074Y University of Toronto, Rotman School of Management. Show them the money. Pay the vaccine hesitant to get their COVID-19 shots. Science Daily. Science Daily, the 13th of April, 2022. IFT.TT slash U3FMDG. University of Toronto, Rotman School of Management. 2022, April 13th. Show them the money. Pay the vaccine hesitant to get their COVID-19 shots. Science Daily. Retrieved April 13, 2022 from IFT.TT slash U3FMDG University of Toronto, Rotman School of Management. Show them the money. Pay the vaccine hesitant to get their COVID-19 shots. Science Daily. HTTPS colon slash slash ift. TT, U3 EVMDG, accessed April 13, 2022.
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more videos.